Good morning, beautiful people. It is December 29th, and I'm going back to work tomorrow. By back to work, I mean that I have been off for the last 10 days, you guessed it, due to COVID. And in a weird way, I knew I needed this time to like kind of reflect on stuff. So the short story is, my name is Robin. I'm a Fort Lauderdale, Miami based flight attendant with a mainline US carrier. I'm claiming it now that this will be my actual first YouTube video, okay? I've been a flight attendant for five years. Um, some people are lucky enough to get the mainline carrier out the bat. However, that was not my story. That was not my journey. I worked for a regional carrier for five years where I pretty much documented my entire life. And I have always just been so scared to take that jump. It's always felt like I'm waiting on something else. Like, oh, okay. Like, for example, I was offered, I've been flying with this mainline carrier for two months now. I don't think I said that. But, um, I was offered this position in December of 2019 and due to COVID, everything just kept getting delayed and pushed back and pushed back. And I was like, you know, okay, like, ooh, when this happens, I'll do it. When this happens, I'll do it. And I don't have time for any of that. So I'm here. I'm here now. I go back to work, like I said, after um, 10 days off tomorrow, I return and I'm on, I'm on A days is what we call them, which means I'm on call. I put in a preference for a trip though, so I feel like they're gonna call me, but for that specific trip, which is great, it finishes um, at 9.30 p.m. on Chris, not Christmas, we're past that, on New Year's Eve. So it's like the perfect little welcome back, little two day, you know? So thank you so much for being here and let's go to work. You have been awarded a day preference award on December 30th at 0830. So it is way later in the day. It's about 6 p.m. As you guys see, they called me, but at least they called me for that trip that I wanted because a lot of the trips ending on New Year's Eve um, ended at about like 1130, 1145. So I got the one that ended um, the earliest or the one that was in open time, I guess, that ended the earliest, which was about 9.30 p.m. on New Year's Eve. So no complaints there. I am about to um, pack my lunch bag. Okay, so now that my lunch box is all packed up, I'm just going to put it in the fridge here. Um, I don't always do this, but it's my preference that the night before my trip, I uh, just put my bags in the car. I have, I carry three bags to work, my suitcase, like a little tote bag, and then my lunchbox. So rather than struggling with all of them at the wee hours of the morning, I like to just put the, my like rollerboard and my tote bag already in my car. And then in the morning, that way I only have to deal with my lunchbox and my uniform. So that's what I'm going to do now. And I will talk to you guys bright and early tomorrow okay so <laughs> it's the next morning I'm ready for work um, it's currently 9 20 a.m. and I don't know if I said it or not but my original sign-in time was 8 30 I got a call in like the middle of the night saying that it was pushed back to 9 45 then another call this morning say it was saying it was pushed back to 10 10 I came over here to my boyfriend's um, warehouse 
so he can drop me to the airport that way i don't have to wait on the stupid stupid bus that um takes forever at the fort lauderdale airport <laughs> to the lounge and as soon as I signed in so they pushed my sign in back to 9 45 and as soon as I signed in um I'm trying to figure out the best way to say this originally our departure time was supposed to be 10 30 now it's 12 10 long story short I signed in at 9 45 and my departure time is now 12 10 so I'll just be here in the lounge hanging out for the next two hours. We're waiting on another flight attendant to come in from a flight from Atlanta, but that flight has still not left Atlanta and it is 10:14. so there's that. Today the plan is to go from Fort Lauderdale to Atlanta, Atlanta to Orlando, Orlando back to Atlanta, and then Atlanta to DC. But the way that it is right now, we won't make it for that um, Orlando turn. So I don't know if they're gonna take it off or not, but we'll see. Honestly, best case scenario just happened. Scheduling just called me and they took off the Orlando turn. So now we work this super delayed flight into Atlanta. We sit for like five hours and we just go straight to DC for the night. So from four legs to two, I have zero complaints. So I will talk to you guys whenever I get on an airplane. Finally made it onto an airplane. Um, I think I said that Thank we, you. we got switched around, so now we only work the two legs. So this is a good thing. We're waiting on that last flight attendant to come in to staff this trip because things are crazy. Everyone is out with COVID, but at least we're going a little closer to the end of the day. I think last we left off, I told you guys that I had like a five hour sit here in Atlanta before we went um, over to DC because they canceled that middle turn to Orlando for us. Okay, great. <laughs> a lot has happened since then. Um, I'm still in Atlanta though, that didn't change. But when we opened the door, I got a call from scheduling and of course I couldn't answer because we still had passengers on the plane. I update my schedule and they're sending us to Columbus. No big deal, whatever. You know, just whatever. Let me back up. So before we could even land here in Atlanta, there's weather here in Atlanta. We had to stay in a holding pattern for 30 minutes before we could even land into Atlanta. Cool. Get here, finally, ready for this five hour sit, warm up my food, maybe take a nap. Psych, scheduling had their other plans for me. So I get the call, fine, I see that I refresh my schedule and I see that we have to work a turn to Columbus. Cool. We come over to the Columbus gate, there's no gate agent. We're still waiting there, no gate agent, no gate agent. And of course the passengers are looking to us for answers and we literally do not know because this just got put on our schedule, not even 10 minutes before that, right? So while we're waiting on a gate agent, I decide I'm gonna use the restroom because it's been, you know, a day of a lot of movement. I go into the um, bathroom and not only do I pick the stall with no tissue, of course, so I'm there and I'm squatting because it's a public restroom and like I'm looking for the tissue paper and I'm like, is there nuts? So I'm really getting down and I just hear rip. I'm like, is this for real? Yes, it is for real. <laughs> I ripped my pants. This is fantastic. Only a two day trip. Robin didn't pack an extra uniform, so this should be a lot of fun. Um, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. So there's that, but. <laughs> oh, and then I scanned to get on. 
to get on the plane, I mean, and I can't, I just hear something fall on the ground, right? Oh, it's my IDs. Why, you ask? How does this even happen? So I can't find my um, my cabin access key. Luckily I ended up retracing my steps and I found it, but like so much has happened in the last 30 minutes and I'm starting to feel like my life is a joke. So now the, the plan is to go um, over to Columbus uh, and then uh, come back here and then still work that flight to DC. Now we're here, but we don't have our fourth flight attendant. The, like I said, Welcome to Irregular Operations, okay? Where they even extend into your personal life and you break things and rip your pants. So at this point, it's been about 40 minutes since we last spoke. We are now, all the flight attendants are here, but the deal with this flight is that it was a canceled flight and they reinstated it. So now they're upstairs rebooking every single person back onto this flight. And we'll be able to get out of here and head over to Columbus. So that is all I have for you right now. Decided to warm up my food because this may be the last little break that I get to eat because it's just gonna be like straight work from here. So we made it to Columbus and I have two words. Maintenance delay. So I'm gonna go cry myself to sleep. Um, <laughs> and I will come back once I know something. Uh, but at this point, I really just wanna see y'all when I get to my hotel room because that is all that is calling for me right now, a bed. I don't care the city. I don't care at all. I just need a bed. <laughs> Cause today, Let's take this overboard now. I want you to feel that and we can ride the book and share that heat of love I will go back to the book of the night and I am finally in my hotel room I made it here to DC and honestly I have no clue what time it is right now it's 1 9 a.m. <laughs> so we landed here um, just at a like right before midnight deplaned it was a full flight over here deplaned and then um came over here to the hotel tomorrow is another day we have two legs we have a 1 30 p.m van pickup time um and we work one flight to from dc to atlanta and then atlanta home we should be home by 8 45 p.m and that way we can all you know break off and go celebrate new year's with our loved ones so i'm looking forward to that it was definitely a day for the books but that's all good like i said it's it's what i signed up for so gotta keep a good attitude throughout it all i thought i was going to the gym tonight but that's when i thought i was getting off at 9 p.m so maybe i'll go tomorrow i don't know we'll see I hope so, but um, thanks for flying with me today. I am exhausted and I will talk to you guys in the morning. Good night. It's go home, dad. That was an awful dance. I feel like I sound so congested, but I slept with the AC on pretty low, which was stupid, but I fell asleep before I could change it. Um, yeah, so that's annoying. I just checked the weather. It's 53 degrees outside. I'm kind of just chilling um, until it is time to go. I have two and a half hours until it's van time. So maybe in the next like hour, I'll try to walk around outside or something. Give you guys a little something to look at, a little B-roll, you know. But if not, I'll just see you guys when I'm getting ready for work. So...
Lord, I keep trippin' out here about the girls No way, the lick gon' fight over no day As you can see, but uh, I like your speed, your style Your whole demeanor, the way you come through and holler and swoop me it is currently 12.45. The plan was to be out of the room by 12.30, walk to go grab something to eat, and then come back. And like, that's just not gonna happen. Oh, I didn't say that it is New Year's Eve. Like, I think that should be assumed because I think I said it yesterday, but it is New Year's Eve, y'all. So, um, I and I said, that's a really bittersweet statement. Okay, so it is New Year's Eve, but we are also in our IROP situation still. So as of right now, I've checked my schedule only 700 times and scheduling has not changed anything. Um, but I'm hoping that it stays that way because I wanna go home. yesterday because it was so hectic but look at like that you know hard work does pay off um, this is just basically a note that they give to some of our um, repeat customers and uh, that way they can give them to us so we can turn them back into the company so we can say look I'm doing a good job so with that being said I'm out here today to go do a, a good job it is 1 19 p.m and it is about 10 minutes before band time i'm all packed up and ready to go i just did a little bit of journaling so the next time you guys see me will be on the plane Just finished my pre-flights, packing away my bags. We are headed to Atlanta. We're about to start boarding any minute now. Um, we have an absolutely full flight over to Atlanta. Still crossing our fingers for no reroutes, but so far so good. Having a lot better luck than yesterday. We were buying our lunch at Qdoba and we ran into a captain who actually bought it for us, which is so sweet. He actually flew us in last night, so he felt our pain. He knew about our day yesterday. But anywho, today we're off to a good start. We have made it to Atlanta. Scheduling has not changed anything on our schedule. Love that for us. However, we do have a little bit over two hours here on the ground where we'll be sitting with our fingers crossed the entire time. I didn't mention um, that I am the galley position today, so that means I work in the back. I set up the cards. I do all of that fun stuff. Um, and one of my duties is also doing the cabin safety check. So once everyone is off the plane, I'm about to do it now. Once everyone's off the plane, we check the bathrooms, make sure no one's in there, check all of the doors, make sure that all of the doors are disarmed, and we report to the flight leader and say, hey, cabin safety check complete. So hopefully the next time I talk to y'all, I'll be on a plane going to Fort Lauderdale. Airport release. 
Happy New Year. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Most time. All eyes are on the ball. 12 feet in diameter. I don't know how to do this part. feet above the street. What a beautiful sight. More than 2,600 Waterford Crystal Triangles. I didn't hear you say that at all. We have the kids at one.